Okay, I think I have way too much fun uh, doing some of the meal planning videos. Uh, grocery haul, I spend so much time showing you guys all the groceries on the table and running through them. Meal planning, I actually get to sit down and just essentially talk to you guys. Um, which, I'm going to run through the meal planning portion first really quick. And then I'm going to give you guys some really big news for the upcoming month on how I'm going to be changing some of this up. It's going to be really interesting, so stick around for that. Okay, let's keep this quick. For last week, you can see that pretty much everything is crossed off except the super chili and the egg something. Uh, the egg something was because the friends that came over to stay with us ended up not being here as long as we originally thought they were going to be. And eggs keep for a little bit longer, so it's really easy to push that one off. The soup chili is one of those meals that I, it's all in the freezer. Um, it, it's fast, it's easy for me to pull together anytime. Now we are going to have to get more hamburger before too long because, well, we're going to start running low on that, but we haven't used a whole lot of that in recipes in a little while. So there we go. Um, one, two, three, four meals made. One of those was a Pioneer Woman recipe, two of them not used. Uh, but they are actually going to be pushed forward. So down here, first one is an oven barbecue chicken. That is the one that called for the bone-in skin-on chicken thighs. And I went ahead and got um, the drumsticks, uh, the drummies or whatever you want to call them as well. Uh, so we're going to do a combination, both types of chicken. But it's baked barbecue chicken is what it is essentially. The Pioneer Woman potato soup. That is what the russet potatoes were for. Most everything else is something that we already had uh, or we typically have on hand. I had enough half and half, or no, it's heavy cream, I think, left in the fridge uh, that is going to expire here in the next week. So I wanted to use that rather than let it go to waste. Same thing with the milk. Uh, we were actually gonna have that soup tonight and because the milk is dated for tomorrow. And milk tends to sour pretty quickly once it hits that date. Um, but we didn't end up making it tonight. Uh, in fact, something farther down the list here uh, that I'll show you. But we, yeah, so we'll have that one tomorrow because we kind of have to if we want to be able to have it without having to go to the grocery store again. Okay, chili. Uh, we are actually supposed to be getting anywhere from 8 to 20 inches of snow overnight tonight. And we've gotten a decent amount so far. So it's possible it's kind of the perfect chili weather. So that's gonna be happening too. Um, but that potato soup is happening and then the chicken has to be made next uh, because of the dates on that. There it is, there's the egg something. We have enough eggs. Uh, however, I put that on there before I realized how many people had switched away from the egg sandwiches that they had started making into omelets. And of course, my husband and one of our daughters, they don't make the three egg omelets I always had everybody, they make four egg. So they're actually moving through them fairly decently. So I may not have to make something separate, just the fact that they're making those omelets, they're using it, technically that becomes an egg something. So I'll be able to cross that one off then. Uh, pigs in a blanket, that's actually what the kids ended up having tonight uh, because I didn't get to the potato soup in time and I knew it was fast and easy. Now that said, I had planned on pigs in a blanket with the hot dogs. However, most of our children decided that they would rather use the crescent rolls to make the pockets. I've done a recipe video before on uh, the barbecue chicken pockets or different styles that you wanna do. And our girls have learned to get creative with it. See what's in the fridge. Uh, they cleaned out the rest of the chicken, so that's actually going to have to go in the Instant Pots tomorrow too because uh, we have the new ones to cook up. Uh, so that kind of actually works out perfectly, and since I'm making the potato soup and it's going to go on the stove, the Instant Pots will be free. So there's that. And the last but not least is quesadillas. Now, actually, I'm doing this video later than I normally do, so the quesadillas is our, have already happened too. I kind of made a point not to cross anything off because I don't like to show a new week with it already crossed off. Uh, normally I try to do this meal planning video the exact same day I do the grocery haul video. At the most, it's the next day. Guys, I gotta say our weekend kind of went a little sideways. A lot of 
events. Let's just put it that way. A lot of events. And so this got pushed back two days, which is not the way that I usually do it. So now that you know that I've pushed this back and that two of the six meals on there have already been made, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the rest of them will get made throughout the week. And if we're going to be snowed in, I'm going to be doing that much more baking. So now on for my news, which I'm really kind of excited for. We're going to see how March goes. I am not doing a pantry clean out, but it's going to be a semi-similar. My goal, so right now we use $300 a week to feed our family. We typically stay under that, um, like this lot, though this week uh, was 230 something. So I thought, you know, I wonder if I couldn't get our grocery budget closer to 200 a week for an entire month. Now that's going to mean eating some uh, leaner meals, not, not skimping on food by any means, but rather than, um, you know, making barbecue chicken or these recipes that require a lot of extra ingredients that tend to cost more, I'm going to stick with some basics, um, just down home recipes that I've always made that I probably have been neglecting for a little while because I'm trying to branch out and use new recipes. Um, and then things that use cheaper ingredients. So we have not had a curry lentil soup in a while. And I know several of the girls really like that. So we can do that one. Uh, the bacon cheeseburger soup is actually pretty easy and not very costly either. Uh, the most expensive ingredient in that is the hamburger, which I, I am going to have to get that before too long, but that's just it. We might do more meals that are hamburger based than the chicken or anything else. Then I might, we'll see how the barbecue chicken this week turns out. Um, if you watched the meal, the grocery haul video, you know that we bought the Tyson chicken, which is not what we normally buy. Normally we buy the farmer's market, um, just a little bit better raised and the flavor is good. So we'll see how the flavor compares on these. Um, but we'll see what kind of meals we make, whether we go ahead and get some more of the Tyson chicken instead, if I'm going to get something like that. We will still get the two, uh, fryer chickens so that we can use that for lunch meat because that already reduced uh, our budget rather than buying lunch meat. And then I will probably end up skipping any of the freezer foods, which means I have to make more meals or make sure that there are more leftovers for things. Uh, with soups and things, that's a lot easier to do. Our oldest is actually, she started her new job today. So she will not likely be taking lunches with her anymore. Um, she went from working at a clothing store to now she's actually going to be serving um, on a base. Uh, so she'll work in one of the single restaurants on there and is gonna be working as a server. So I, I'm pretty sure that she'll be able to figure out food there, but we'll find out too. Maybe she will still have to pack something. I don't really know. Either way, uh, it's one less person eating some of those leftovers on average. And yeah, that is my big goal. So we'll see how this works. I have not, in fact, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys as evidence. Uh, well, okay, I say that and that was one thing. I was gonna say, I have not started the next meal planning. There's a single thing written on there. I'm gonna have to decide if that's gonna get to stay or not. It's actually salsa chicken, uh, which I haven't made in a little while, but it might be, um, you know, it actually stretches pretty far. So now that I'm saying that, I might go ahead and make that one. I'm going to stick to meals that make plenty of leftovers. And I, I'm gonna double check my recipe videos. If I don't have a recipe video for the shredded salsa chicken, I'm gonna put that up. So you can look out for that next week too. And yeah, I am, guys, I'm excited. And if I can do this and bring it down, that's another $400 worth of savings that is going to benefit our family. Now, am I gonna take it down to 200 a week every month? No, no, I wanna do this for a month. Um, for one, I wanna challenge myself because first of all, I do need to clean through some of my pantry stuff and use some things that I've been avoiding lately because I've been doing bigger recipes. But I also would like to save for a couple of things that we're talking about doing. And if I can do that by uh, keeping our grocery budget a little bit lower and hanging on to that cash for something else. That's a really good thing to do. And you know, if nothing else, 
I'm going to be able to save enough that we can go ahead and take our entire family out to dinner at the kids' favorite restaurant. I can't say it's mine, uh, which is Pizza Ranch. It's a pizza buffet, and it's safe for all of the kids to eat at. Um, I do not believe that there's a single thing that I can eat there, but I'm not 100% sure. I've got to check. They're actually really good with their allergy menu, uh, so I'll be able to figure that out, and I should be able to look it up online too. They do offer a gluten-free crust, so I could do that. Um, but yeah, that's where it's at. I'm really excited for next week. I am actually excited for this week too. I've never made barbecue chicken before, yet alone like the way it sounds like it's going to turn out. It's going to be pretty awesome. So wish me luck on that. Uh, maybe I'll have to share a picture of that on Instagram if you follow me on there. And there it is. If you have any questions about this meal plan or the upcoming plans for this for the month of March, leave that in the comment section down below. In the meantime, I hope that you are having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything coming up next. And I will see you in the next one.